Maybe no authenticity. Maybe maybe you're pretty. No authenticity. Maybe maybe you're pretty. Maybe no authenticity. Maybe maybe you're pretty. Maybe no authenticity. Maybe maybe you're pretty. Means you could do it all. The flavor is so incredible. Everything else simply stops. Whether you're in the backyard or away from home, you. No, you say just you. Faut de l'expérience pour. Tu vois ça, t'as des mots comme ça. will help protect Australian troops at war. Alrighty then, uh, hey. Diver, and while it's true that if the Nationals self-destruct and the Liberals continue with their Lord of the Flies approach to faction live, In societies dominated by modern conditions of production, life is presented as an immense accumulation of spectacles. Everything that was directly lived has receded into a representation. The images detached from every aspect of life merge into a common stream in which the unity of that life can no longer be recovered. Fragmented views of reality regroup themselves into a new unity as a separate pseudo-world that can only be looked at. The specialization of images of the world evolves into a world of autonomized images where even the deceivers are deceived. The spectacle is a concrete inversion of life, an autonomous movement of the non-living. Nazi, au périgame, jeune potentielle, ni si la ni d'acti, el peso, cinité, rangra, nakiti la fila. is not a collection of images, it is a social relation between people that is mediated by images. Understood in its totality, the spectacle is both the result and the project of the dominant mode of production. It is not a mere decoration added to the real world. It is the very heart of this real society's unreality. In all of its particular manifestations, news, propaganda, advertising, entertainment, the spectacle represents the dominant model of light. It is the omnipresent affirmation of the choices that have already been made in the sphere of production. You are not real. 
the reality of an observable entity designated by the term everyday life stands a good chance of remaining hypothetical for many people. You are not real. Indeed, the most striking feature of the present group for research on everyday life is obviously not the fact that it has not yet discovered anything. You are not. But the fact that the very existence of everyday life has been disputed from its very inception. You and increasingly so with each new session of this conference. You are not real. Most of the talks we have heard so far have been by people who are not at all convinced that everyday life exists. You are not real. Since they haven't encountered it anywhere. You are not real. A group for research on everyday life with this attitude is comparable in every way to an expedition in search of the Yeti. You are not real. Are not real, which might similarly come to the conclusion that its quarry was merely a popular hoax. Inauthenticity, me, me, mediocrity. Inauthenticity, me, me, mediocrity. Complacent acceptance of the status quo may also coexist with purely spectacular rebelliousness. Dissatisfaction itself becomes a commodity as soon as the economy of abundance develops the capacity to process that particular raw material. Stars, spectacular representations of living human beings, project this general banality into images of permitted roles. As specialists of apparent life, stars serve as superficial objects that people can identify with in order to compensate for the fragmented, productive specializations that they actually live. The function of these celebrities is to act out various lifestyles or socio-political viewpoints in a full, totally free manner. I follow the instructions carefully. Two candles, music, one tube of brill cream. The direction said brill cream keeps hair clean and natural looking. Clean and natural day and night. Beautiful. I could tell by her eyes she flipped for clean, natural looking hair. Brill cream. Are you man enough to try it? Our life is a journey in winter and night. We seek our passage. In 1957, a few European avant-garde groups came together to form the Situationist International. Over the next decade, the SI developed a coherent critique of modern society and of its bureaucratic pseudo-opposition, and its new methods of agitation triggered the May 1968 revolt in France. Wow, what was that? The situationist writings are the most lucid expression of what was being groped for in the 60s and what was only superficially repressed. In the 70s, and an indispensable point of departure for the adventures to come. Are you tracking me? Tracking me?
realized it sent her, I pulled up for water. There was a woman. Hey, you! Come on if you want to ride. How far are you going? How far are you going? That took me by surprise, and I turned my head to look her over. She was facing straight ahead, so I couldn't see her eyes. But she was young, not more than 24. Man, she looked as if she'd just been thrown off the crummiest freight train in the world. Yet in spite of this, I got the impression of beauty. Not the beauty of a movie actress, mind you, or the beauty you dream about when you're with your wife, but a natural beauty. A beauty that's almost homely because it's so real. Then suddenly she turned to face me. How far did you say we're going? Los Angeles. L.A.? L.A. is good enough for me, mister. That's what I was afraid of. What'd you say? Oh, nothing. Just thinking out loud. People get in trouble for doing that. Are you tracking me? Are you tracking me?